hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another topic on Splunk so it's been a quite time like uh, we did some Splunk tutorial so uh, now I wanted to give some information on uh, Splunk Enterprise 8.2 why because you know Splunk has released uh, Splunk Ent Enterprise 8.2 version on May 2021 so it was just a few days before so I thought you know it will be helpful uh, for our Splunk uh, you know, enthusiastic to know like uh, what is the uh, Splunk Enterprise 8.2 uh, you know, new in the, uh, in this version and also what is uh, deprecated or removed in this version so we can talk about this and we also will see like uh, how quickly we can set up an Splunk 8.2 version for your learning and uh, you know how you can uh, see all these features okay so uh, before I you know s say like what has been re deprecated or removed or what's new let's see what is what do you mean by deprecated uh, as per Splunk okay so when uh, we say deprecated means uh, the features or uh, the platform the browser continue to work okay so uh, when uh, as a Splunk it may say like this feature has been deprecated means still it will continue to work and the Splunk will support them until it it is removed so what happens is these deprecated features will be added into the removal phase uh, in the next version so what do you mean by removed means uh, some of the deprecated versions uh, you know Splunk removes the supports for those features or platform or browser so that means you know those features platform browser will no longer work with the Splunk platform and the customers who are who using will need to find an alternative for this so uh, you know uh, we'll see some example okay in the uh, upcoming slides okay so this is the general statement what is deprecated means and what is removed means so if you don't know uh, you need to understand when we talk about deprecated and remove or what's new okay so let's see some of the features what is deprecated and removed or planned to remove in this version for 8.2 so uh, as part of Splunk Enterprise as 8.2 the support for HTML dashboards are deprecated uh, does it means like you know it is removed so it's still uh, supported it still work so but it may be you know uh, removed in the upcoming uh, versions and also you know the secured remove file uh, so which is in this locations which was there in the previous versions uh, which is also in deprecated so uh, what are the other features or any things which are planned to be in the removal phase so one of the main thing like you would have uh, seen about this python 2.7 runtime when splunk has released 8 dot version so this was one of the uh, main talking point like you know you may have a lot of apps uh, which was running on python 2.7 uh, scripts or something like that so those are you know will stop working so you need to uh, move it to the python 3 so what did happens like since uh, this were uh, python 2.7 runtime was deprecated in 8.0 now with 8.2 this uh, will be uh, completely removed so that means now all the apps or anything which is using uh, python 2.7 will stop working and you need to use python 3 and also you know you uh, with uh, version this 8.2 the internet explorer version 11 the support for this version has been removed so that means it will stop working with internet explorer 11 and there are also other uh, some of uh, things like uh, some of the support for uh, or you know uh, operating system uh, that is also in the deprecated uh, thing so i will show you the uh, direct splunk uh, documentation so you can go through it so some of the uh, version of operating system is also in this list now let's see what is new in Splunk Enterprise 8.2 this is very interesting okay because I've seen uh, very good features has you know uh, Splunk has added into this and some of the dashboards and the charts which uh, we can prepare with uh, Splunk 8.2 looks amazing so you cannot think like this is done uh, with part of uh, you know, uh, Splunk uh, queries those looks like you know something you have developed with some uh, three-dimensional or some kind of you know uh, drawings okay so that uh, you will be able to see it in the upcoming tutorials so one of the main uh, thing as I said is the dashboard studio so there is a new uh, Splunk stu you know dashboard they have brought it called dashboard studio uh, with this Splunk new version so this is the intuitive dashboard builder for creating visually compelling dashboard with 
advanced visualization tools and fully customizable format so these have a lot of features like you can drag and drop you can you know customize it so that's why i said this is dashboard if you see you will become you know amazingly you know uh, surprised like you know how these kind of dashboards can be created using you know splunk but we will see about uh, dashboard studio a separate tutorial uh, in the upcoming uh, you know videos but this is more about i want to talk what's new in splunk and also you know splunk uh, you know they have uh, brought up new health uh, report so this health report you know you it gives more information about distributed environment monitoring io uh, weight ingestion latency those kind of things also has been brought up so like you know when you go to the splunk home page you will have that exclamatory mark you know where you will be getting messages like uh, health status you know you have more used buckets those kind of thing but now you will have more information there and also there are some uh, internal log uh, tracking that is also brought up in this version so a new set of uh, log tracking configuration file changes at uh, file system level for auditing purpose so these are also brought up into this uh, 8.2 version and another uh, a great feature is like a federator search so now on you know, this with this version of 8.2 splunk supports searching from on prep to on prep environment and also from on prem to splunk cloud so you can do that combined as well and uh, uh, one of other good feature is like a splunk operator for kubernetes so splunk also started supporting for containerized splunk at the uh, scale allowing customer to ingest larger volume of data and support larger search capacity on this kubernetes platform so they have completely you know develop uh, these things into a kubernetes uh, environment as well so let's see you know how, how quickly we can set up a splunk okay so before i do that you know i will uh, request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, kindly click on the subscribe button and also like my videos share and comment please share your feedback on the comment section so we can uh, take that it for the upcoming tutorials so what I'm going to do is like you know if you have seen one of my previous tutorial I've shown you how to set up Splunk on uh, Docker so that's a very easy way for your uh, you know, development purpose you can easily spin up a Splunk environment using Docker and you can connect and you can see what are the features and all those things so what we will do is we will uh, set up a Splunk uh, Docker container for 8.2 and we will access that and I will show you you know what are those new features so I'm going to j just run this command okay this command I uh, know uh, I will link the into the video description of my tutorial on how to set up Splunk on Docker just go through that so you will get this full command and the um, you know, better command as well like with you have persistent storage in as well so here I'm just going to run this so it can create a container so you can see it has uh, created a Splunk container and if I go to docker logs and uh, the container name and hyphen f which is telling you can see it's uh, doing the process so now we have to wait for this process to be completed and then you know our uh, you know splunk uh, instance will be up so i will be back once this is uh, completed okay great so now we can see this uh, docker setup is done so i will just exit from this and if i access my splunk uh, portal using the ip address and port 8000 so one thing you need to check is like port 8000 is open on that uh, machine so you can log in with admin and the password which you have set in the uh, docker container command okay so once i log in uh, it should be in the home page okay so now you can see you know this is the splunk uh, 8.2 version uh, you can see splunk 8.2 version has uh, you know the home page and you can see you know the uh, health you can see uh, now you know if you see uh, I am not able to see the other options uh, like uh, uh, distributed search and all those things so but if you have a distributed environment you will see able to see more uh, status over here in the health check so that's uh, something which has been added up in this uh, 8.2 so and if you have there is a default an app here Splunk Essential if you click on that uh, you may be able to, to see you know the features what we have mentioned like you know federated search which is one of uh, uh, a new feature which has been added with 8.2 uh, 
right you will have a more in performance you have a scheduled search you have the splunk operator for kubernetes and you know you have a lot of things over here now if you see this um, uh, dashboard studio so that's another feature you have a health report uh, over here you know you have a better license tracking enhancement let's go to this dashboard studio and let me show you something so now if you see uh, uh, you know uh, this gives you complete detail like what features has been there and I, what existing features now if you see this uh, you know uh, dashboards you may be able to see like how uh, you know this dashboard you know how this has been prepared with Splunk so this is really uh, extraordinary how what all things you can do with dashboard studio uh, which you know will create a separate tutorial like uh, on this like uh, how you make use of dashboard studio so but i just want to show you like what are the some of the features which has been added and how it look like in the splunk 8.2 so this is the official documentation for splunk 8.2 which i will link into this uh, video description and if you are planning to upgrade those so there are some steps so what's new so those uh, details are over here and if i go to this deprecated and removed uh, you know some of the details are over here as well and i also told about this uh python 2.7 which has been which will be removed with the 8.2 version now if you see the there are some operating system which are getting deprecated as well like linux kernel for this one uh, which has been already deprecated in 7.3 and i you know uh, there are a few things uh, as well and uh, if you see there is a version which has been removed as well which is ARM Linux uh, with this uh, 8.2 version so I will link all this uh, you know, uh, tu uh, tutorials uh, video description so you can have a look there and uh, you know, I'm uh, hoping this is uh, you know, useful uh, for you to go through this so that is all for this uh, tutorial so kindly subscribe for more videos and I'm hoping this video is informative for you uh, kindly like my videos, share and comment.